Yeah, Jonathan Bueller. And Jonathan, uh, what's your title at Nissan? Uh, I'm a product planner for Maxima and Juke. Yeah, and you're curator of the museum down here at the lane, right? The, the Nissan collection. Yeah, yeah. I'm a curator along with uh, David Bishop, and okay. uh, we, we volunteer our time to, to devote to these uh, beautiful old Datsuns and Nissans. All right, well, can you walk us through this collection? Do you mind? I'll sure. Just, I'll just let you kind of go and we'll, we'll listen. Yeah, not a problem. It's all about the car. So you got a pickup over here. Yeah, so we've got uh, basically our, our 1200 pickup here. So this one uh, we received uh, a while back, actually. So this was one of the original cars from our collection when we came over from California. Uh, so this one's pretty unique. It's got a four speed on the column. Uh, and what's great about it is you can hop in it. Four speed on the tree. On the tree, yes. <laughs> four speed on the tree. Um, but what's really cool is you could actually get out right now and drive this, uh, and it's a fantastic driver um, if you are short enough to drive it. So if you were to sit in that front seat, your knees would be in the steering wheel. And of course, the biggest question is how much will it tow? And the answer is <laughs> probably not a lot. Not a lot. <laughs> not a lot at all. So um, this will not tow your boat <laughs> or your horse, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe a jet ski. <laughs> exactly. But well, maybe, maybe. <laughs> uh, right. If you're lucky. Let's, so let's keep going. You got a, it looks like a concept car over here. Yeah, we actually have. Quite a few concept cars in the collection. A lot of these came to us in the, the 90s, late 80s, early 90s. But uh, this is the Bevel concept. Uh, it's very interesting. Um, but right next to it, though, is one of my favorites, and uh, seems like one of yours as well. It is. This is uh, my, I've owned a lot of cars, guys, and the favorite car that I've ever owned, and it includes I've owned an NSX, is actually this is a still MZ, but I had the 300ZX twin turbo, not the still version, it's just a regular old version. But I love this car. Uh, it's the one car that I wish I'd never sold. It was uh, Cherry Red. Oh, Cherry Red. Yeah, yeah, it was, of course, I think it was a five-speed yep. mm -hmm. uh, stick shift. And uh, it was uh, cool because not only was it very powerful, because we had just come out of that era yep. where cars had no horsepower. So all of a sudden, this thing had 300 horsepower, yeah. twin turbo. <laughs> And it had uh, Super Hikus, is that what yep. it's called? Super Hikus, four-wheel steer. steer. Yep. Yeah, yeah. It's it it good stuff, man. Yeah. And then uh, these reptilian good looks, right? Looks yeah. Like, like, a, like a crocodile that's kind of ready to pounce. Exactly, right, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So some of the other cars that we have here, you know, we've got oddballs here like this machine that you wouldn't normally see here in the U.S. Uh, this came to us as a, uh, uh, a vehicle from testing in Los Angeles uh, back in the early 2000s, uh, and it found its way back to us here in the collection. So... Um, this would be like a whole market car. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, exactly. So, and a lot of these, of course, guys, if you're younger than me, a lot of these are Datsuns as opposed to Nissans. Yep. And of course, the, the difference is that at one point in America, Nissan was Datsun. That's correct. And Datsun. Up to about 1982, 1983, we started the, the transfer of the name from Datsun over to Nissan. Nissan, yeah. So, but uh, for instance, like right, right here, we've got a prime example of uh, one of the cars that we brought over in the early 50s. Um, well, actually, early 60s, fair, rather. Fair lady. A Fair Lady. This is a 61 Fair Lady. Um, we just actually got finished restoring this, and if you'll notice, the grill is uh, out being chromed, so it's uh, not here. It's beautiful. Uh, this is uh, one of, like, probably a handful left in the U.S. that is actually a driver. And uh, we take these to our cars and coffee events in the local area. Yeah, you get some buzz. And, of course, it's left-hand drive, which is it's, unique. Exactly. Yeah. Well, it was sold here in the U.S. market, so... Uh, really makes it stand out. So, wow. um, again, some, some Z's like this 40th anniversary. Um, this actually just came to us not too long ago, so nothing special here. But the Z next to it, though, we're really, really proud of. So this is one of the uh, Z Store 240Zs. So in 1996, Nissan decided that they were going to restore some dots and 240Zs, and this is one of them. This is number 12 out of the bunch. Uh, and this one was the press car that was used in all of the... Uh, the brochures and everything. Um, so, and as you know, yeah. it's a great driver. Yeah, I got to drive this, uh, uh, I think it was last summer, and it was a really eye opening experience because you forget how um, sports cars used to be, right? Yep. It didn't have, doesn't have a lot of power, but it was all about finesse and it was all about road feel and it was just all about kind of having the car shrink around you the faster you go. And this was one of those cars that is not only gorgeous, but you can see where the tradition started from, how, how Z's became such an integral part of, of motor sports and, and sports car history. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. That's exactly right. So, and behind you, uh, just to finish off this section of, uh, of our collection, and please mind the mess, uh, we're currently under renovation. 
So what you see here is what the rest of this section will look like hopefully in the next couple months. Uh, but we've got actually the job one truck. So uh, yeah. And then I've got a special one to show you guys here in a minute too. A long bend. Yes. So this is actually the very first vehicle that came out of the Nissan Smyrna plant. So in Smyrna, Tennessee here. Wow. Uh, this is what we call job one. So this was the very first vehicle period, regardless of truck or anything, built here in the U.S. In America. Yep. And I, I, I kind of feel ashamed and at some way heartened that it was this interior was baby blue. <laughs> <laughs> baby blue, uh, base, automatic, and it had no radio. So, and it was a long bed. <laughs> and how much will this tow? Not much. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably not much either, but... Uh, this is um, when you can actually park trucks in like an urban area, right? You guys yeah. go take this and park downtown <laughs> Chicago or New York, which today is not going to happen. So what's, what about the LZ? Yeah, so yeah, right behind this yeah. uh, is a very unique car. This is definitely not factory paint. No. So what's really unique about this 262 plus 2 is this was actually Mr. K's last personal yeah. lease really? car. Yeah, so he wow. had it ordered with this pearlescent yellow paint, yep. as well as a sunroof, which uh, as you can see is metal. Uh, and he also preferred this particular one to be automatic because uh, as he was finishing, older, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he was uh, he was looking more towards the automatic. So uh, again, this was his last. Did he live in person. California? Yes, during this time, yes. All right. All right. So this was a California car. It was uh, kept in the collection when we came over, and yeah. Yeah, that's cool. That this was the car that well, I mean, you know, started it all, and then that was his car too. That's really, really crazy. Yeah, to to have the ability to have this car in the collection is is very special to us, especially uh, now that Mr. K has passed on. So yeah, if you're if you're a fan of the Z, then you know, this is the holy grail of Z's maybe in some ways. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and uh, and his secretary has his 240Z, uh, and she still lives in California. Okay. So. All right. All right. Well, so, let's go to the other part. Here's a pace car, obviously. Yep. Yeah, the 300 ZX pace car. Yep. Uh, for the uh, IRL. Yeah. Back in uh, 1990, I think this was a 1995. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, right. it's let's unique. Keep, let's, let's keep going. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna step through here. <laughs> it's gonna get a little darker, I think. A little dark, yes. You guys are renovating this, so obviously it's uh, uh, an area under construction. Yeah, so again, mind the mess. <laughs> yep. Was there any need for this part of the lane collection? Um, well, uh, currently, I mean, we were just going to keep it the, the Nissan Heritage Collection. Yep. Um, you know, Jeff Lane and, and the Lane Motor Museum allows us to use this space, so. Uh, All right, so now my heart is uh, also throbbing. Okay. This car right here. <laughs> yes, sir. I own this. <laughs> Oh, you do? Well, I used to. I had this car. Oh, yeah. fantastic. Yeah, you right. had this 50th anniversary. Well, I, I didn't have a 50th anniversary, but basically it was the same, right? It was the same look. Yeah, same look. Same look. So it, it same color. I don't, I'm not sure if mine had the golden wheels. They were just silver. Yeah, they were just silver. Right. But this, this is where the Z kind of went from being a sports car to being more of a grand touring car in, Ex this, gen in this generation. Exactly. And, and, and I, I'm not sure if yours had this, but the body sonic technology. Oh, is that? Uh, I think so. Oh, yeah. So that's something that you'll have to experience yeah. one day is uh, to get in this and uh, crank the radio up and have your, uh, your uh, behind vibrate. I didn't Thanks have to that, body no. sonic. <laughs> oh, but I did have... Uh, uh, one of the early uh, kind of suspension modifications, so you can mm. go from sport to normal yep. to like comfort. And uh, what happened was in sport, your teeth would rattle out, and comfort, <laughs> you'd wallow down the road. That's right. <laughs> so you just kept it a normal. That's most right. Of the time. You're exactly right. <laughs> so, uh, some other key cars in here, and I know the lighting really isn't that great. We've got a 10th anniversary 280ZX over here. Uh, very special to us because it's uh, all original with the all original tires. Those are the original Goodyear's that came on it. Wow. Um, still hold air and it's a, it's a great, great driver. So. But it's not a turbo. No. It doesn't have a turbo school. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, there was a time when, when, if you were a Z fan, you knew it was a turbo because there was always a turbo school. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, a couple other things, so. I see some leaves, what else? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a, we've got a leaf over there that's uh, number six. Uh, here in the U.S., so the number one is actually over at the Smyrna plant. Okay. Um, but then we have uh, this really cool car right here. So. This one. Right? Yeah. The, 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 or is it a real car? It's actually so. Sometimes I get confused, but it's uh, it's called the Azel concept. So it was basically when the Sentra was coming out, okay. uh, the B15 Sentra rather. Yep. And uh, this was a two-door variant that we uh, we brought out as a concept to try to see if we could gauge some interest in a two-door version. You know, it actually looks 
modern today. I, that's what I think. I, yeah, I completely really agree. Again, looks uh, really uh, like something that could come out of some place today. And I like the integrated tailpipes. That's, yeah. that's big right now. So that, that was kind of foreshadowing what was coming down the road. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So, and then next to it is a very, very pristine 1200 uh, coupe. Yeah. Yeah. Those, uh, those were super popular back in the day along with the 510, which uh, we'll show you as we uh, exit. But uh, that particular one has a cool story. It was uh, disassembled about six times. It was a uh, training vehicle. Okay. So they had the engine and the drivetrain out of it numerous times. Yeah, so th it's the white one over there, Ian, if you can kind of, you can kind of point your camera that way. Yeah. yeah it's hard <laughs> it's, to get over there. It's a little difficult, yeah, so. But uh, well, what's this race car that we're looking at? So this is actually uh, uh, another GTP turbo car. Okay. Um, this was a replica though. The real one is actually out, outside, which I'll be more than happy to show you guys. Uh, does, it but, look, does it look like a replica? Is there no engine in it? Yeah, no engine, no drivetrain. Right, it's so just wheels and tires. Yeah, just <laughs> That's right. Okay. Right. So, but yeah, that, that about sums it up. We've got some kooky stuff in here like this from the SEMA show back in 2004. Boy, we had some bad taste in 2004. I'm so. telling you, the, the pinstriping and the pearlescent paint really... Uh, <laughs> yeah, those wheels, oh my God. Oh. They're not thinners, are they? Thinners. Uh, no, thank goodness. So, yeah, yeah. yeah this one, uh, we, we don't know what we're going to do with this one. It came to us uh, last year from the Peterson Museum. Apparently, it had been in their storage facility for a while. So yeah, Burn it with fire. That's probably what we'll do. <laughs> But you didn't hear that from me. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, um, very early 2003 car. Yep. But uh, what's unique is, like uh, you just pointed out, all the signatures. And uh, this is actually a Lollapalooza car. So we took this up to Lollapalooza in 2004 and had all of the artists sign it. Oh, cool. So you got like Puddle of Mud and uh, a couple other groups and a whole bunch of people. So uh, we've tried to figure out who everyone is on this so we could make a list so we could maybe donate this uh but we haven't been very successful hey, let's, let's, let's come here, come here. We'll, we'll we'll leave our mark here at the uh <laughs> heritage collection yeah there you go <laughs> and uh we'll sign it as well roman roman and ian ian and today is uh what is today today is uh, it's the five five nineteen five nineteen 2015. There we go. So there it is. There it is. Look at that, Ian. Both of us <laughs> have become part of history. There As you are. Always. This is Rome reporting for the Fast Link Car. Thank you very much. Yeah. For not a problem. Thank you guys for coming down. Us, Thank this you. This heritage collection, and we'll have to come back once this is obviously all yeah. done up and, and properly displayed. Be more than happy to have you guys. Thank all right. you. All right. Cool. Bye. See you guys. Bye.